Help support the channel during the adpocalypse by visiting our Amazon store for gear like the giant squid clip-on microphone. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And oh man, if this is true, ah yeah, we've got some confirmation on the possibility of an Obi-Wan anthology film for Star Wars. And this is one that people have been asking for for quite some time. Uh, Hollywood Reporter reported back on August 17th that uh, Stephen Daldry, who had directed Billy Elliot, was in talks with Lucasfilm to direct the, uh, the Obi-Wan movie. That was the rumor. And we haven't heard anything over the course of the past near four months. And we know that right now, going on in L.A., is the world premiere of The Last Jedi. So everything is going to be Star Wars related for the next couple weeks. And hey, look at my shirt. I don't care, man. I'm all on board for the Star Wars. But according to OmegaUnderground.com, they just ran an article titled Lucasfilm Eyeing Early 2019 Production Start on Kenobi Anthology Film. And what they're saying here is that they've got confirmation that Pinewood Studios in London uh, has set aside a soundstage uh, for director Stephen Daldry to be produced by Kathleen Kennedy. It can really only mean one thing. If this is true, if this is real, if this is confirmed, this means that we are in fact going to be getting a, a Obi-Wan film coming sometime. Now, if the production start date is in 2019, that means that the film will be coming out probably 2020. We know that you have the Han Solo movie coming out May 2018. Uh, no winter release for this next year. Uh, but in 2019, two years from now, we get episode 9 directed by J.J. Abrams. And then after that will probably be May 2020 will be the Obi-Wan film. I, or they could push to uh, to December 2020 and keep it going as a holiday thing. But if you pay attention to what Warner Brothers is up to with the releases of Aquaman and Wonder Woman 2, they are really gunning for those December release dates. They really want to take on, I'm assuming they want to take on Disney at this point. And they think that, they, 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 they're, they're cute to think that uh, Aquaman or Wonder Woman 2 is going to do anything to dethrone a potential Star Wars movie. Never mind the fact that... Uh, no, no, no. Avatar is not coming out in 2020. I think it's 2021, 2022 or whatever is when we're going to see these films. So, yeah, right now, though, this is what we know. This is what's being reported out there. And that's cool because I had actually put the Obi-Wan anthology film out of my mind. And I, I feel bad for doing that. I, if you McGregor comes back in to take on the character to do it more of a gritty western which is uh b believe it or not a, a genre that's been making its way back and we all know that you know while while not specifically science fiction star wars has always kind of been like a western space opera and this would very much tie into it uh giving us like an old man kenobi sort of uh, storyline here now i don't know what the film's going to be about i don't know if it's going to be a single standalone movie or a tie-in to another trilogy which you know what to be fair to be to be to be real fair here if they were to sit there and say you know what we want to make this thing we want to make this thing a trilogy of movies give obi-wan the the you know the films he deserves i i don't think people are going to complain I don't think Ewan McGregor is going to complain. And I think Disney is going to realize that some of these side characters can have their own trilogies. And that's probably what's going to happen with Ryan Johnson and whatever he's working on for the next couple films. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm excited to know more about this. I can't wait for them to officially announce it to give us a plot, the, uh, plot synopsis and everything. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day and peace out.